Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at my favorite gathering rotation in the game, the Tashir Ruin Scorpion and Snake Gathering Rotation. If you've tuned into any one of my weekend live streams, you'll probably have seen me gathering over here, and that's because I pretty much average over a billion silver an hour over here for the last four months now. It is by far and away the best gathering spot that I go to, and I think we're going to share it with you here today. And for those of you that have been watching the channel for a really long time, you'll know I already made a video about this spot like four years ago, um, but the rotation is a little bit different and it wakes way more than 50 million silver per hour now, so it's time to create a new clickbait video and get you guys going. Anyway, uh, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel New Black Desert or you've been watching videos on the channel, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. It helps to grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both went in. Without further ado, let's get into it and start off with showing you the location and the spot and the rotation and all of that. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward with this one. What you're going to want to do is open up your map and find the Tashir Ruins icon. You want to head just south of it where you'll see this little bridge crossing over into the new region here. Um, this little bridge right here is the dead giveaway. Just follow the path right away from this bridge. So literally the bridge is right there. We're up on this ledge right here. Other pro tip to help you with this rotation and help you find the stuff. If you press the H key on the keyboard, click on the Ecology tab, Ecology of Dregan, and highlight the Beasts of Dregan, you should see Stone Cobra and Rock Scorpion. If you select both of these and enable tracking on them, it will make their icons blue on your minimap, helping you to find stuff while you're first learning the rotation. So with the setup out of the way, let's take a look at the rotation itself and run you through one lap of the rotation. We're starting from the bridge right here, that same bridge that I said is pretty easy to pick out on the map. Starting from the bridge, the place I actually like to start the full-on rotation is right here next to these rocks. So you got this cluster of trees as well as two cobras on this rock set here. And this is where we're going to uh, begin the rotation. So you've got two Cobras right there. You then have a Cobra here and a Cobra right here after that. You then have a Scorpion here, as well as a Scorpion and a Cobra sitting right across from here. Then hang a right to pick up a Cobra over on this side. Turn back around, you will see a Scorpion on this rock right here. Head straight again, you'll see a Cobra in the grass right here. Over to the right, hugging this pillar set here, you'll see a Cobra, followed by a Scorpion. We then do a dash across over here, and you'll see a cobra right here in this little section. Turn around 90 degrees and head back towards the cliff face. At this edge, you'll see two cobras, as well as a scorpion on the rock right up here. Continue following this path up this way. You'll see three cobras. Follow back around and up around the back side of this cliff. You will see a scorpion here and a scorpion here. From here, if you head straight ahead, you will see a cobra. Head straight down, you will see a scorpion right here. In between this little cluster of pigs, you will see another cobra. Turn around 180 degrees from this and dash towards this rock, you'll see a scorpion. Here, if you have a long linear skill, you can shoot an arrow out, for example, on Musa, you'll be able to hit a cobra, a cobra, a cobra, and a cobra right here on top of this rock. So several more cobra. You then have one more cobra right here, directly in front of you and then go straight again into another Cobra. From here, you can see my horse is set up right here, which marks the start of the rotation, and you can pick back up at these two rocks right here and continue the loop once more over and around and through. So I went ahead into paint and drew the route on the minimap. Again, up along the cliff face, cross, double back, straight across, over, around the rock, zigzag along through, and back over to the start here. Now, as long as you've completed the gathering minigame, you should get a couple gathering minigame procs, which allows you to do this rotation infinitely. If you do need to find some additional things to kill along the way, you can dash back to where the bridge was. You've got two snakes and a scorpion that you can pick up over here. Uh, but you shouldn't need to do that so long as you completed the Gathering minigame. And again, if you haven't completed the Gathering minigame, you should totally do it. I've got a video guide on it. It's going to like double the amount of money you make per hour. You definitely need to do this quest line. But anyway, guys, that's the rotation. So again, I tend to make a little bit over a billion silver an hour now when I'm doing this rotation on the weekends. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it if you're trying to make tons of money off the gathering side. Do you want to note to hit those numbers? I do have the gathering minigame running. I do have a hedgehog pet active as well. And I have 2000 mastery for gathering when I have my buffs and whatnot active. Additionally, since the weekends is when I primarily play, I'll also be using my aggress fever, which is usually fully recovered by the weekend. So if you are somebody that grinds mobs, you would probably rather keep your aggress fever for that. But uh, just keep in mind, I am using aggress fever to hit those big numbers as well. So uh, you are looking at pretty much maxed out gathering stats to be able to push those kinds of numbers, but it gives you something to shoot for as you're continuing to progress your character. Anyway guys, now is your turn to let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more gathering rotations, more of my favorite gathering rotations where I make my money? 
uh, let me know down below. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in the next YouTube video, Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.